What if I told you that engineers violently attacking a robot, kicking it, punching it, throwing it to the ground, and the robot just kept getting back up like some kind of unstoppable Terminator? Well, that's exactly what just happened. Unitree Robotics dropped the most jaw-dropping robot demonstration we've ever seen. And what happened next will completely blow your mind. Picture this. You're watching what looks like a scene from a science fiction movie. A sleek silver humanoid robot stands calmly in a pristine white lab. Suddenly, an engineer runs up and delivers a brutal Spartan kick straight to its chest. The robot staggers backward, falls to the ground, and then something absolutely unreal happens. In less than half a second, this machine springs back to its feet like it's defying the laws of physics. No wobble, no hesitation, just pure fluid recovery that makes Olympic gymnasts look clumsy. This is the Unitree G1, and it just mastered something called anti-gravity mode. Now, before you roll your eyes thinking this is just marketing nonsense, let me tell you what this robot actually did. Engineers subjected this machine to what can only be described as robotic torture. They kicked it from every angle. Front kicks, side kicks, back kicks. They punched it in the torso. They hit it with sticks. They even grabbed it and literally threw it across the room like a rag doll. But here's the absolutely mind-blowing part. Every single time this robot hit the ground, it bounced back up within a second. We're talking about recovery times that are faster than most humans can even process. The robot would land on its back, perform this incredible kip-up motion that looked like breakdancing, and boom, standing upright ready for more punishment. And we're not talking about some massive clunky machine here. The Unitree G1 stands just 4.3 feet tall and weighs only 77 pounds. That's lighter than most teenagers, yet it's packing technology that makes it virtually indestructible. This thing has 23 degrees of freedom, meaning it can move and bend in ways that actually exceed human flexibility. The real kicker? This robot costs just $16,000. To put that in perspective, that's less than most people spend on a car, and you're getting a humanoid robot that can survive being kicked around like a soccer ball. Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot, which everyone considers the gold standard, isn't even for sale to regular people. But Unitree just made advanced robotics accessible to universities, researchers, and serious hobbyists. But here's where things get really crazy. This isn't just about making a robot that can take a beating. The anti-gravity mode represents a fundamental breakthrough in how machines interact with the chaotic real world. See, most robots are incredibly fragile. They work great in controlled environments, but the moment something unexpected happens, they're toast. A small push, an uneven surface, a slight miscalculation, and boom, expensive robot pancake. What Unitree has achieved is something called whole body control. The robot's artificial brain is constantly calculating thousands of variables every second. Where's my center of mass? Which direction am I falling? How do I redistribute my weight? Which joints need to fire to counter this force? It's like having the reflexes of a cat combined with the analytical power of a supercomputer. Quick break. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if these breakthroughs fascinate you. New stories are dropping every week. Now let's smoothly dive back into the video. The technology stack behind this is absolutely staggering. We're talking about impedance control that makes the robot's joints act like springs, absorbing impacts instead of breaking. There's a reactive footstep planner that repositions the robot's feet in fractions of a second. And the whole system is powered by reinforcement learning algorithms that have basically taught this robot how to fall and get back up like a martial arts master. Now, while Tesla and Figure are focusing on making robots that can fold your laundry and make you coffee, Unitree is taking a completely different approach. They're saying, look, before a robot can be useful in your home or workplace, it needs to survive the real world. And the real world is messy, unpredictable, and sometimes violent. Think about it. What good is a robot butler if it falls over and breaks every time your dog runs into it? How useful is a warehouse robot if it shuts down the entire operation every time it encounters an unexpected obstacle? Unitree is solving the foundational problem that makes all other robotic applications possible. But here's the controversial part that has the internet absolutely divided and people losing their minds. The demonstration video shows what looks like straight-up robot abuse that would make PETA protesters faint. 
engineers are literally beating up the Unitree G1 for our entertainment like some twisted gladiator sport. Some people are asking, is this ethical? Are we normalizing violence against artificial beings? Others are saying, relax, it's just a machine. This is exactly the kind of testing that needs to happen. And then came the trolls, because the internet never disappoints. Social media exploded with critics saying, cool, but show me what it can really do. People started posting sarcastic comments like, great, so it can take a beating, but can it make me a sandwich? Others trolled with, this is just expensive robot abuse, where's the actual utility? But the most disturbing comments were people saying, this is the moment Skynet happened, and we're literally watching the birth of Terminator robots. The hate comments were flowing like water, with people demanding to see the Unitree G1 actually performing useful tasks instead of just surviving combat training, while others were genuinely terrified that we just witnessed the beginning of the robot apocalypse. The truth is, this kind of stress testing is absolutely essential for real-world deployment. Every robot that's going to work alongside humans needs to prove it can handle unexpected situations. Construction sites, hospitals, homes with kids and pets, these are all environments where accidents happen. A robot that can't recover from being bumped, pushed, or knocked over is basically useless. And the applications for this technology are mind-blowing. Search and rescue operations where robots need to navigate collapsed buildings and debris. Military applications where machines need to survive in combat zones. Industrial settings where robots work alongside heavy machinery and fast-moving equipment. Even entertainment. Imagine robot athletes that could actually compete in extreme sports. But wait, there's more. The G1 didn't just demonstrate defensive capabilities. This robot performed consecutive backflips like some kind of robotic gymnast. We're talking about a machine that can launch itself into the air, rotate 360 degrees, and stick the landing with perfect balance. The combination of power, control, and recovery is absolutely unprecedented in robotics. What makes this even more impressive is that this anti-gravity mode was delivered as a software update. The same robot that was walking around normally a few weeks ago suddenly gained superhuman balance abilities through an over-the-air update. It's like if your smartphone suddenly learned how to fly just from downloading an app. The technical specifications are equally mind-blowing. This robot packs 90 newton meters of torque in each knee joint. That's enough force to lift a full-grown adult. It can carry up to 4.4 pounds in its arms while maintaining perfect balance. And its battery lasts for two full hours of continuous operation. Here's what really sets the G1 apart from the competition. While other companies are building robots for specific tasks, Unitree has created what they call an AI avatar platform. This machine is designed to learn and adapt. It can imitate human movements through demonstration. Show it how to dance, and it learns to dance. Teach it martial arts moves, and it becomes a robotic Bruce Lee. The implications for the future are staggering. We're looking at a world where robots won't just be tools, they'll be partners. Machines that can work alongside humans in any environment, handle any situation, and adapt to any challenge. And at $16,000, this technology is about to become accessible to a whole new generation of innovators and researchers. So the next time someone tells you that robots are fragile, expensive toys that only work in perfect conditions, show them this video. The future of robotics isn't just about making machines that look human. It's about making machines that are tougher, more resilient, and more adaptable than humans could ever be. And that future just got a whole lot closer. What if I told you that China just rolled out an army of robots so advanced, they make Boston Dynamics look like a toy company? I'm talking about mechanical beasts that can carry 352 pounds, about 160 kilograms, robot dogs armed with assault rifles, and underwater drones mapping our ocean floors right now. Welcome to the future of warfare. And frankly, it's both incredible and terrifying. While we've been debating whether ChatGPT will take our jobs, China has been building something far more consequential. They're not just developing robots. They're engineering an entirely new form of warfare called intelligentized combat. Think of it as war where algorithms make life and death decisions faster than any human ever could. The stakes? 
global military dominance for the next century. While the world commemorated the 80-year anniversary of World War II's end, China used that symbolic moment to showcase weapons that make that entire conflict look primitive. The guest list alone should make every defense analyst lose sleep. Vladimir Putin and Kim Jong-un stood shoulder to shoulder with Xi Jinping on the viewing platform at Tiananmen Square. Think about those optics for a second. The leaders of Russia, North Korea, and China, representing the world's most advanced nuclear arsenals and largest standing armies, publicly demonstrating their alliance. This wasn't diplomatic courtesy. This was coordinated intimidation on a global stage. The robot dogs stole the headlines, and for good reason. These four-legged mechanical predators rode on vehicles like loyal hunting companions. But their capabilities are anything but cute. Military analysts describe them as battlefield reconnaissance and assault units designed for urban warfare. The psychological impact on enemy troops would be devastating. Imagine facing machines that don't feel fear, don't need rest, and can process targeting information faster than human reflexes. Here's what most people don't realize. This isn't some distant sci-fi fantasy. These systems are operational right now. Chinese forces deployed armed robot dogs during their Golden Dragon 2024 exercise with Cambodia. Real soldiers, real weapons, real combat scenarios. The footage shows these mechanical predators moving through urban environments, firing mounted rifles with deadly precision. But here's the crazy part. The robot dog everyone's talking about isn't even China's most impressive creation. Meet the Mechanical Yak a four-legged monster that redefines battlefield logistics. This beast weighs in at massive proportions and can haul 160 kilograms of cargo while hitting speeds of 10 kilometers per hour. Picture a robotic pack animal that never gets tired, never needs food, and can traverse deserts, snowfields, and rocky terrain that would stop traditional vehicles cold. It's equipped with 12 joint modules that give it movement capabilities that seem almost alien. We're talking about a machine that can jump, sprint, turn on a dime, and navigate diagonally through obstacles that would challenge human soldiers. The Yak represents something profound. China isn't just building weapons. They're reimagining how armies move, fight, and survive in hostile environments. While Western militaries focus on expensive, high-tech platforms, China is mass-producing intelligent systems that can operate in swarms. Imagine facing not one of these machines, but hundreds, all coordinated by artificial intelligence. Then there's the Bloodwing platform, and this one will give you chills. Picture this scenario. Enemy drones drop robot dogs armed with machine guns directly onto rooftops behind your lines. No warning, no traditional assault routes, just sudden mechanical death raining from the sky. The Bloodwing carries a QBB-97 light machine gun capable of firing 650 rounds per minute with a 400-meter effective range. It's designed for urban warfare, specifically rooftop suppression and what military analysts call 3D pincer attacks. The psychological impact alone is staggering. Traditional soldiers trained to fight humans with predictable behaviors and limitations. How do you mentally prepare to face machines that don't feel fear, don't need rest, and can process targeting information faster than human reflexes? These aren't remote-controlled toys. They're autonomous hunters designed to eliminate human targets with algorithmic precision. But wait, it gets more unsettling. China's EOD robots are being mass-produced for explosive ordnance disposal, but their dual-use nature means they can easily transition to offensive operations. These tracked machines navigate like mini tanks through rough terrain, equipped with robotic arms capable of precise manipulation. Today, they're diffusing bombs. Tomorrow, they could be planting them. The same sensors that detect explosives can identify human heat signatures. The same arms that disarm devices can position lethal charges. Here's where things get really wild. China isn't stopping at land-based systems. Their sea-wing underwater gliders are already mapping our ocean floors, conducting intelligence operations that most people don't even know are happening. These stealthy machines can operate for months underwater, gathering data about submarine routes, port vulnerabilities, and coastal defenses. Indonesia and Vietnam have been finding these devices in their waters since 2016. Think about that. China has been conducting robotic reconnaissance of strategic waterways for nearly a decade. 
The most terrifying aspect isn't the individual platforms. It's the ecosystem they're creating. Chinese military doctrine calls for wolf pack tactics where multiple robot systems work together under AI coordination. Picture swarms of aerial drones providing targeting data to ground-based robot dogs, while underwater gliders map escape routes and surface vessels coordinate the entire operation. Human soldiers become system managers rather than frontline fighters. Military experts are calling this transformation intelligentized warfare, and China believes it's their path to overtaking American military dominance. They're betting that algorithms can outthink human commanders, that mass-produced robots can overwhelm expensive conventional weapons, and that artificial intelligence can compress decision-making cycles beyond human capabilities. The timeline is what should keep defense planners awake at night. China has set 2027 as their target for achieving full, intelligentized military capabilities. That's three years from now. By 2035, they plan to have completely transformed their armed forces into an AI-driven fighting machine. We're not talking about gradual modernization. We're watching the most rapid military transformation in human history. The implications stretch far beyond military conflict. These technologies will reshape global power dynamics, influence international law, and challenge fundamental assumptions about warfare ethics. When machines can make kill decisions autonomously, who bears responsibility for their actions? When robot armies can operate without human soldiers, what happens to traditional concepts like surrender, prisoner treatment, and civilian protection? China's robot army represents more than technological advancement. It's a strategic bet that the future belongs to whoever masters the intersection of artificial intelligence, robotics, and military doctrine. They're not just building better weapons. They're rewriting the rules of power projection and global influence. The question isn't whether this technology will change warfare. The question is whether the rest of the world can adapt fast enough to maintain strategic balance in an age of mechanical soldiers. What we're witnessing isn't just military innovation. It's the birth of an entirely new form of human conflict, and China is determined to write the first chapter. The robot revolution isn't coming. It's already here.